I've got, I've got a new business idea. Yeah, big ass sandwich. Business proposal. Right. You've all been there, aren't you? In town. Obviously, you're trying to eat a sandwich and it's falling all over the place. You can't get your mouth around it properly. Yeah? Yeah. All right. You see them packets that you get at Greg's? It's like half paper, half plastic. You stick a long baguette in there. And even still, I mean, you're trying to get your mouth around the baguette, especially when it's crusty bread and it's hard and it's hard to bite into. You make your sandwich as normal. Make sure all your fillings in there properly. You stick it in the bag. And basically what you do when it's in the bag and none of the filling can come out, you crush the sandwich. I mean, it doesn't look too appetising here, but when it's in the bag, and it's you keep all the filling in, all the sauce in, you've got your own sauce in. Look, at once a sandwich that I couldn't fit my mouth round. <laughs> you've got the same amount of sandwich in your mouth, already partly chewed for you. At yours, plus sandwiches. Now, that's just the theme. That's the theme of it all. No, but seriously. It's a good business idea, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but what I was thinking is, we could make our own sauces, yeah? Just like Subway, but better. I mean, look. Like oh, it's got mustard, yeah. No, I wondered what burnt my mouth. <laughs> because I haven't patented the idea yet. I haven't patented it. And obviously, if, if in six months' time, then somebody's got crushed sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you heard it here first. No, it, but that's the video. If that goes good on YouTube and someone else steals my idea, crushed sandwiches. Crushed sandwiches. Fit it all. Fit fit twice as much in your mouth at once. Yeah. And that could be the theme. But we 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 it, look. It's, it's come back on. Yeah, but when it's when 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 you can compress it properly, and I mean like compress <laughs> it <laughs> in a bag. When it's in a bag, obviously it, it don't come on. It don't come on compressed. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking marvellous. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Me, Daryl Tomlinson, <laughs> born 23rd of the 3rd, 1988. This is, this is for patent rights, by patent the way. Patent rights. <laughs> this is just three from my idea. We've gone from the phrase crushed sandwiches, squashed sandwiches, squeezed sandwiches, squashed sandwiches. Even though our hands would be hygienically clean, we'd have gloves on, and it would be in one of them paper bags that they do at Greg's. If anyone steals our idea, we will be suing. So the machine that we're gonna build, as simple as can be. Now you know the inside of this tube and how it's how it's how it goes round and it and, and you can see, can't you? Get a plastic, carbon fiber, steel, aluminium, and you get two handles on the end. Now these handles, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Now the tube it opens up and it opens up to a bigger so you can fit your sandwich, your fully made sandwich in there. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, you fit your fully made sandwich in there. Once it's in there, just like a Breville maker or a toasting machine, and you push it down and it crushes it into the place that it wants to be. The plastics, they're carbon fiber, they don't heat up eat very good obviously or, or maybe plastic and, and and what you do you turn from either side once your sandwich is in place you turn from either side gently so all the all the metals align and you turn one clockwise and one anti-clockwise in a soft motion cannot be taught by any other person but me you do it just so just so it turns and it crushes you know a hot dog, you get it at every fair or carnival if you're American. You get the onions and the bread and when you're trying to eat it and you got your sauce and the sauce is falling all over. No more, because your sandwich is the size of a hot dog. Only it's got everything in it that'd be in a normal sandwich. You've got no need for napkins, you don't need to wipe your mouth, you're not getting nothing nowhere. It's a perfect genius idea. It thought by yours truly, born and raised in Sheffield. There you go, and there you have it. Do you know if we can just make one prototype, just one prototype mate, and go on to the Dragon's Den. Not only with the the thing that we want to sell that we've got patented, yeah, but the idea, the theme of crushed sandwiches. Crushed sandwiches, squashed sandwiches, squashed sandwiches. Not only have we got that that we've got patented, yeah, but we've got the theme as well. We need money. Now, but obviously, are you, are you interested, Dave? Would you be interested? Not really. <laughs> Mate, yeah, but what if I become a millionaire? <laughs> You're not going to. But that's just because I've not not got the right chances and things in life. That's that we've not got the right means. We ain't come from a wealthy background or nothing like that. Everybody around the world would at least want to try once a squashed toasted sandwich or just a squashed sandwich. Everybody, if I went into a shop, squashed sandwich. What's that? That's new. <laughs>
by the way, we've made his own sauces as well. We created his own sauces, <laughs> sour cream and onion, um, sweet chili onion dip. We'll make it all from scratch, better than Subway. I mean, you've seen a sandwich before, it was 10 times better than Subway.